Although the Solemnity of Corpus Christi is celebrated on the first Thursday after the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, in several dioceses the ceremonies are moved to Sunday for pastoral reasons. In that sense, the celebration of the Body of Christ has been commemorated this weekend in archdioceses such as Buenos Aires, Argentina, Quito, Ecuador, Santiago de Cuba and in the Diocese of Palm Beach, United States. In the last celebration of Corpus Christi over which he presides, while awaiting the inauguration of Monsignor Jorge Ignacio Garcia as the new Archbishop, Cardinal Pauli encouraged the faithful to renew the conviction of being the Church of the Eucharist, missionary and in solidarity, as the Synod taught us. That is to say, a Church that celebrates life from one end of our existence to the other, because we do not fail to appreciate that each one of us comes from the hands of the Creator, who has left the imprint of His image and likeness on all His children, destined for glory, he affirmed. In Ecuador, the streets of the center of the capital Quito were covered with carpets of flowers and the Mass was celebrated in the cathedral by the Archbishop, Monsignor Alfredo Espinoza, who highlighted the traditions of the country, but pointed out that we cannot remain in a very colorful celebration. There is something more, a celebration must lead to life, said the Archbishop of Quito. The Archdiocese of Santiago de Cuba celebrated this solemnity today, Sunday, with a Mass in the Basilica of Our Lady of Charity of Cabra. The homily was delivered by Father Juan Elizalde, who affirmed that in the current situation in Cuba, the solemnity of Corpus Christi is very good for us to put things in their place. The priest indicated that we cannot be satisfied with accompanying Jesus in this Eucharist, on the day of Corpus Christi, and then locking him up, without any more transcendence, in the conscience of each one, and at least leave him closed in the tabernacle. This solemnity of Corpus Christi should challenge us, what do I do for the Lord? Do I publicly manifest my religious convictions not only with words but also with gestures, with behavior? Asked. Through its social networks, the Diocese of Palm Beach shared photos of the procession that took place this Sunday. The procession was led by the rector of the Cathedral of St. Ignatius Loyola, Father Gavin Badway. Many braved the heat to pray the rosary, honor the real presence of Jesus and begin the parish phase of a year-long National Eucharistic Revival, the diocese stated on its Facebook account.